Ladies and gentlemen, Tati Advance here, and welcome to a ship review. Now today, we're taking a look around the 890 Jump. This has come in in patch 3.6.2. This is currently the largest ship in the game. It has some capital components as well, and it is absolutely massive. And I had to move quite far back here just to get it all in shot. Now one thing, the 890 Jump does feature triple layer graphene enameled hull basically giving it extra strength and making it very for sort of defensive. It does come with an array of weapons and we can take a look at them when we jump inside. I would say it's a luxury yacht. It's going to be used for obviously touring and transportation of AI and players. So let's uh, start taking a look around. Well, first of all, now when I start moving towards the ship, you're going to get an idea of the sheer scale of this thing. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit as well while we're here. Just to give you a bit of a scale. Now I was quite surprised with this ship. I thought it was going to be a right pig to fly. Really difficult in hover mode. But actually I'm going to say it's probably the easiest large ship to fly. Than any of the other ones. It's very very easy to fly. It does look like the legs there has gone underground or something doesn't it. So you can see if you look at my character now. Next to just the landing leg. This is ridiculous. Now, while we're on the topic of landing legs, I think one of the reasons why this is so good at landing and taking off, and it's so easy, is because of the landing gear. I've noticed when you land, the shock absorber travel is literally as much as an aurora. So when you land, if you come down on a hard landing, it's smooth as butter. You land, you don't even notice. That's one really good feature. I suppose the executives on board the ship do not want a bumpy landing. And this is how they're doing it. It's pretty cool. And it all works. Once I get in the ship later on and fly it, I'll come down the land and I'll show you the suspension travel. And it's absolutely crazy. So let's uh, head down this way. Now there are a few ways inside the ship. There's also side hatches as well up the top. And also there is a landing pad on the roof. But we're going to start down the very end here one thing you're probably going to need with this is maybe a small vehicle maybe like a small rover or something just to get around because even if you land here and you come out this door the station's going to be quite far away because the ship is so big unless you park it right there but some of the challenge i found that most of the stations you land at there's rocks around them and if there's rocks then the door can't come down now, if you noticed, these little lights here indicate a door. So we've got this one first of all, and we've got one down the back there that's a little bit buggy at the moment. That's like a single man lift or two man lift. Now, the idea of this lift is it's sealed from the atmosphere, assuming to protect the passengers. Unlike any of the other ships, they don't do this. So if you look above now, there's a roof there. The only downside I can see from this, it, it does limit the size of vehicle or ship that could possibly fit in here, from a height point anyway. So you're sort of limited to this. And then once this one's done, crazy detail in here as well. These ones open. Because this room is higher than the lift, if that makes sense. And in we are. Now this also doubles up as the cargo hold as well, the cargo plates. There are a few other little locations up the front as well where the cargo goes. You get the idea. Now I've tried this. You can fit quite a few ships and vehicles in here. You can actually fit rovers in here. Park one here. You can park one here. If you really want to go all out. I've even driven a buggy up the stairs, up the corridor. Round the side there, it goes all the way down the corridor. It won't go up the lift yet, but give it a go. And then either side of these rooms, you've got the engine room. Well, the engines themselves. Which look pretty freaking cool. There are some animations that are missing that will be coming in on probably in the next patch. Hopefully there'll be like a mini game where you can come in here and repair these later on. And that's just a lift here. We don't need to go in that one though, because there's another way round. 
Oh, I didn't even notice them things up there. Very detailed, looks cool. And then you've got the same thing on that side. And then over the back here. I don't know if this smoke's supposed to be there. It could be running through a damaged state, I'm guessing. If you've got OCD, that's really going to annoy you because I would want that to be spinning centre. But maybe it's a damaged state because I can see some fire and some other bits there. I think that's the gravity generator, isn't it? And we've got shield generator. This is pretty cool. Life support. If you look carefully, you can see water running through the tanks there. Oxygen tanks down the side there. I imagine that quite a lot of oxygen's got to be generated for a ship of this size. And then over this side, you've got a couple of lockers that you can't actually open at the moment. They're not labelled up as anything as of yet. Could be weapons, maybe. It would make sense, wouldn't it, being near the rear door. And then over this side, just another panel. Jump drive. Don't know if you're going to be able to open the door. I guess so. Maybe the panel opens here. You hear a bit of a fizzy noise in there. So that's pretty much everything on this, I say floor, but in the uh, engine room. Same on this side. Have a quick look. Same down here. What we saw on the other side. Now there is a variety of lifts over ladders as well. For the very reason once they introduce the full power system and power gets taken out on different parts of the ship, maybe VMP or items fail, then you're going to need the ladders and there's one here. As you can see, it's right up there. So we've got parallel corridors here. This is the lift that was downstairs that we just saw. So you can just come up the lift if you really want to, or come up the stairs, just here. And you can also go up until the uh, crew quarters as well, but we'll have a look around here first, and get this part done first. Or maybe not. One thing that is a little bit annoying, sometimes when you go in the lift the door doesn't open again. So in the corridor, we're going to have a look down on this side, first of all. When you come directly from the hangar bay, you get the escape pods. They have labelled the floors and the skirtings and all different areas with directions. I really like it, so when you're running around, you can see emergency escape pods. I would say these are all the crew ones. You'll see why later, because there is some more... Let's just say upper market ones coming up later. This is probably going to be a panel to eject them, I'm guessing. Over this side, we've got the battle bridge. Which is effectively another bridge. At the moment, you're supposed to ban a flight in first person. Oh, sorry, in third person. I haven't managed to get it to work yet. Maybe it's coming in the next patch, and then you've got all your normal seats that you've got over the front there. We can have a jump in one of these and see uh, what we get. Remote turrets. We'll take a look at that in a sec, because we're going to head towards the uh, pilot seat. And the things you use are basically just replicating there. But the only downside at the moment, obviously, when you sit in this seat, you can't see out. Later on down the line, there will obviously be screens here that, to help you fly. Okay. This is the crew quarters. Kitchen area. Nice stainless steel stuff. Looks like someone was just here. Ceramic cooktops. 
What the hell are they? Huge sink. They look like things you put trays in, don't they? Like tray lifts. This don't look quite right, that, does it? I don't know, unless that's a wall garden. It could be, couldn't it? And what's this here? It's in the corner there. Is that something? No. And then on this side, very much the same, but it's like we've got fridges or something here. More pots and stuff. A lift there. And we do have this here as well. There's another panel here. Oh, look, orders. There we go. So they get the orders here, cook the meals, and I guess they go and deliver them. Do they go up in the lift or use this thing? Pass. And in here, we've got a walk in fridge freezer. I don't think this room is refrigerated. I think the cupboards are. So it's a cupboard with uh, weird green beans in it. it. Looks like pick and mix. Garden wall again. Same thing there. Maybe that could double up as a prison cell. Right, next way. This is all for the crew, this. This is the crew's canteen. Probably where they get their food and drinks. Towels, it's a bit random, but yeah. I've got them plates, same ones. Some shrubs down there. I've noticed they've done a lot of work on the plants and foliage. You remember a little while ago we saw a video of the uh, plants. If you look at these ones, how detailed they are. The ones we have on the planets at the moment, if you get close to them, they look horrendous. They're obviously placeholders, but these ones look awesome, don't they? So they've obviously brought that tech in now and put it in. It looks really nice. Many more plants around here. Not much going on over here. Nice seating area. It's not bad for the crew, is it? Nice TV. No buttons work as of yet. Nice seating area and then the rooms. There's not much luxury going on here. They do have storage each, these things. So I'm guessing that these will open. A little TV, a bed. It's alright. Good enough for crew quarters. What more do they need? If you were on like a sailing yacht and you are a crew member, this would be lovely. This would be like luxury. And it is, uh, at least it's smart outside as well. It's tidy out here. Looks nice. Looks super modern. What's that thing there? Anyone know? No idea. Oh, I think it's just a bit of art. So you can get art in here. All the rooms are the same, I think. Yep, definitely all the same. And then over here... Bathrooms. So you don't get an ensuite. Quite nice though, aren't they? Showers. That's a bit weird, you're gonna get water everywhere, aren't you? Some uh, shampoo. Buttons don't work as of yet. I'll probably get changed in here, wouldn't you? You're not really gonna hang your stuff up and get changed here. I'm guessing it's unisex. You're gonna get changed in here. It's a bit weird why they didn't put like a hook here or something. I suppose you could come from your room with your shower thing on, couldn't you? And your shower cap. So not too bad, is it? The crew quarters are pretty decent, I think. And down this way. They're skate pods. Once again, all pretty smart, aren't they? We'll have a look at that one in a minute. That's pretty cool. You see that there? 
nice little effect there. You're coming through the doors. And then obviously this way. Well, we'll go back there in a minute. Let's have a look in here. Entertainment forum. Quite surprising that the people upstairs, like the, you know, the executives and the... They don't have a pool table. I probably want one. We do have queues. No chalk, and we don't have the... There is a triangle. We don't have... What's the X thing? The rest thing. We haven't got one of them. You probably don't need to use that on pool, though, do you? Nice table, though, isn't it? I like what they've done. Look at that. That's a good idea. Little lights in there. Cool little idea. Took him into going, getting old and going blind. And you've got a you know, little arcade machine here. Just with A and B. Two buttons. Very old school. That might even be a real mini game. And a little bit of seating area. It's not bad, is it? Crew are doing all right. This is an airlock now between the hangar. Which, to be fair, is a bit odd. Why would you have an airlock here when this is already... Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Let's just try this. Alright, yeah, you definitely need an airlock here then. That makes sense. So I'm guessing later on... You walk in here and we'll have another button, maybe... Where's the button going to be? Oh, right here. You click on this and it cycles in the same way that it does with the ones that we've got in Port Olisar. Cool, I've actually never seen it from underneath. Don't know if I want to jump down there, though. I might get stuck, might I? Any ladder? Better not, eh? Still going up. Pull it back down. Now this is where... I'm going to say you have your ship. This is where... Your... Executive has his ship. Guessing that's coming down. Freaking slow if it is. Let's close the exterior doors, what with the thing on it. Here it comes. So while it's doing that, we'll have a look over this side. Waiting lounge. Now, it could be your ship as well, I suppose. I think this is more about serving the people on the ship. So the ship you're going to have here, whatever you decide to bring with you, you're going to need it to escort and take the passengers to their baggage area. Or customs. Not really baggage area, they've probably already got their baggage. So that didn't come back down. Is that coming back down? Cool, there we go. Here he comes. Yeah, so back in here while well, that's coming down. Yeah, so they'll be waiting here. I'm guessing they have a panel somewhere. Vehicle status, so they come up and request their vehicle. In some cases, you might even have to pilot it. Through the airlock. Some boxes there. They're a bit random, aren't they? Oh, there's another panel. So let's go up and see what we've got up the top. Now, one thing I would like them to add at some point. Yeah, the only problem is if I go up the top, I can't get back down again. Unless I jump. Because I don't think there is a panel up there. We had a look last time. We'll do it in a second. We'll do it on the last thing. Up the front here. This is how you get to the turret.
You can just about see it. There we go. It pops out the front there. And then obviously when you get out, it stows itself. Let's power up, shall we? Strange uh, sound effects there. Quite slow firing. We can actually switch the fire mode. That might... That's probably better, I think. How we get? From using this ship for maybe 10 hours now, flying it in some combat, it's not that effective at the moment. It's very defensive, i.e. I suppose that's what it's supposed to do. It's very, very defensive, i.e. Well, I'm not going to say you're invincible, but I haven't blown up in one yet. I know there's not that many large ships to really go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. Going to give it another crack at the weekend and the stream and maybe we're against a couple of hammerheads and see how it gets on. But the guns on it, really, you can't really defend yourself against a hammerhead. Because the guns are so far apart from each other. With a hammerhead, they're all just down one side. He just broadsides you and absolutely nail you. But saying that, great hull armour. And we come back here. Oh, we could go up there now, let's go and have a look. We'll find a way down. Can store ships and bikes around the edge as well. Even got a Vandal ship in here. I know that the Prospector will fit. Haven't tried the Terrapin yet. There'll be lots of other ships that fit in here. But I suppose if you're in game, I very much doubt it. The AI or, a, you know, he's going to ask for a Prospector. Here we are. Not a bad view. The sun's going down. The only thing I would probably like to see, and I'm sure they will do... Oh, there is a panel there. One thing I would like to see them do later on down the line. If you're in another ship and you fly towards this ship, I would like to be able to request landing. That'd be really handy. You have to play with friends with this, 100%. Because it's just the time it takes to get and do things. If you did all this yourself, oh, it'd be just too difficult. You have to get the pilot seat, run around here, jump in a ship, request it, you know, put it on the pad, take off, pick the, you know, got the passenger on board, go and land. It's, it's, it'd be much easier if you had crew with you. Some very cool animations there. So, we've done this end. Oh, we've got the basketball court as well. Yeah. I don't know if we're ever going to get to uh, use the basketball court, but it's got one. Back through the airlock. We could. That was the pool table. We've done that one. Done the kitchen. It's a wall. Did we go this way? Yeah, we've done that. Skate pods here. We've done there once. Back out on the uh, viewing deck. Along here. There is a lift as well, which will take you up to the foyer and dying area. Back down this way. To medical. That's where we were a minute ago, so a quick look in here. Now I know a few people have critiqued this, it's a bit weird that... This does actually scan you when you get in, have you seen this? Look, I won't get in. I won't let me get in now. There we go.
you have a look. So the size of the bed, oh, that's pretty cool. The size of the bed has popped up. Scanner things moved to the end. Don't know why he pops his head up like that. Get us a bug. Gotta be, isn't it? Oh, and the whole bed goes down. Pretty cool. A bit of thought's gone into that bed as well. Yeah, it was like saying, there is no toilet in here. I suppose you could have a, a pot or something, couldn't you? And then, if you look around here, it does actually say, look, isolation. I'm guessing you put your hand on there or something like that and open the door, depending on the access you have. And then you can look at them through the window while they've got aliens coming out their eyes. <laughs> this is obviously going to be all of his status and stuff like that. That door opens there. So let's stand over here. Yeah, so medical, and then obviously we're back round here. This is the where the hangar is. Double airlock, where the waiting area is. And back down here. Now we do have weapons as well. So this is the door where you, know, you come up the stairs here. Or you can come up in the lift if you want to. There's some black smoke coming out there. It's a bit weird. Chunky doors, these ones. Because there is no door here, I guess. I know we don't need airlocks here because of the airlock door, if you know what I mean. There's still chunky doors. And then we've got all the weapon racks. It does look like a lot of weapons, and I wouldn't disagree with that. You can have a lot of people on the ship. And then you can now jump in the lift. Should we do that first? Let's go to there first. Here we are. Welcome to the spa and pool. Should we start here? Now you can, I mean, to be fair, that lift takes you pretty much to the same location because if we would have selected the other location, it would have just taken up you know, that flight of stairs there. So what we got in this section? Well, left and right of these, the spa and the pool, we've got the, I'm going to call it the executive escape pods. Probably going to be more preferable getting in one of these ones. At least you've got people with you. Elevator there. That's that ladder from earlier. You know, when we were down in the hangar at the top of the stairs. Seats 10. Doubled up. We have another one on the other side as well. I have got in there once and I struggled to get out so should we go in there I don't know it's probably a bad idea I tried to get in last I couldn't get out last time so it's probably a bad idea there is another door that comes down and shuts as well you can see it here I'm guessing to use this what would happen is is the people would come down here all jump in one of the crew would shut the hatch and then to deploy it, I'm guessing it's something to do with this thing here. Maybe you put your key in and turn it. Either that or this door is locked to passengers. So passengers can't get in this door here. So the only way that this door can be opened is someone with that key. And then they come in here. The only reason I think that that might be the deployment method, because there is no deployment method here. Well, if they get in, how do you deploy it? Just, just go? So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that that is the key. You put that in and the pod pops off. The door closes first, yeah? The um, airlock door. And then you put the key in, off it goes. And maybe that tells you, like, status of who's in it. And then on the other side... Same thing. We don't have the additional door...
And a lift as well. These two, I think, take you down to the engine bays. You know, we'd left and right. There was a lift at the end. But we we're going to come up here anyway. Lots of artwork in here as well. Lots of bits of art. That's pretty cool, actually. Is that actually sticking out? It is. Looks nice. And then uh, moving down here, we have, on this side, saunas, which you can sit on. A bit lonely in here on my own at the moment, but, you know. There's your coals, your water, towels. I'm guessing this is set temperature. And then you've got showers, which is, I thought this is a bit weird. I don't know, I suppose you could come down in your swimming trunks, couldn't you? <laughs> you never know, people have been walking around in the nude, didn't they? Because you come out of here, and then you have a shower, and then you've got to get changed here. It's all a bit, I don't know, a bit swinging, isn't it? Put your keys at the door. They should have made this like into maybe a little room or something, where a changing room. It's not like they need like two changing rooms here. Look, there's only one. Oh, they probably do actually, because you could get five or six people in each one, couldn't you? And then over the other side is a small pool. There is a fish tank underneath. You can see there. There's no fish in it yet, so when you're in the pool, you can see the fish. Some towels, some other stuff, and this is, but they said that this could be used as a changing area, but I wouldn't fancy that myself. That's the ambient temperature, I don't know if that's the, obviously, the cooling, I'm guessing. And then down here, more lifts, both sides. And here we have the changing rooms for the swimming pool. Once again, no freaking doors. This is like... Do you reckon if you're going to pay this much money to be on a cruise liner, you're going to have doors like this? Really? Because someone's going to have to go walk past, and they're going to go, aren't they? I don't know how that's going to work. They should have put doors on them. And then two more down here. Look nice, though. Design nice. Good idea. And then the swimming pool. Some nice chairs around here for chilling out. Maybe a few drinks around the pool. The wall does slope off here a little bit on this side. You can get in the swimming pool. There is a deep end. I'll show you. I'm not going to try and drown myself right now, but you can sort of see the bottom of the pool there. This is almost like, see, it gets deeper in front of me, so I'll go down a bit. I do. Don't know if I like the water texture on the floor, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? And we had a bit of a paddle, didn't we? More plants, once again, these are definitely the new plants you can see, because they look really, really good. And the fact that they're moving as well makes it look really realistic. Wow, really good, isn't they? These sort of things will be really important later on. Once you've, once you've got a fill a whole planet with trees and plants, it's going to look amazing. Moving on. Skate pods, we've done them. Now, if we just pop back here. Now, this section here, this, I can send the elevator. That big door that we first came in, this is like the two-man lift I was going on about. Long way down, though. And then, left and right of here... Note there's double doors here as well, but I couldn't manage to close the other door once I've opened it. 
Oh, there's only one. There we are. Is it the oh, it's this one. Here we go. See what I mean? There's a door on top of a door. That's what I'm guessing is going to happen with the escape pods as well. Another door's going to close and then open this one. Okay, let's try that again. I've got to get closer. Try again. Come on. Maybe try the other side. We'll try the other side. EVA suits all around here. This is going to be for you going outside the ship and repairing it, doing stuff like that. Or maybe EVAing because you're going to collect something. So plants. Let's go and give it a go on this end. I've opened one before. There we go. Can actually walk outside as well. We have a bit of a run around later, can't we? So what you would see, let's just say a passenger comes on board, they would come up this lift. They wouldn't obviously come in the They wouldn't come in the loading bay, would they? And they wouldn't come in any other way. I suppose they could land on the top deck. They'd probably land on the top deck if they landed and then wait in the waiting room. And then they would come in here. Walk in here. So you see the view that they get as a passenger. This is what they see. It's grand, isn't it? All the uh, artwork on the side here. And then they come straight into this room. Not really sure what we're calling this. It says hub there, or atrium, or whatever you want to call it. And this is where the habitation is for the... Your passengers, your wealthy ones, let's just say. When you come into the section, you can see on the floor, look, Spa and Paul, that's where we were a minute ago. Viewing gallery, master suit. And then you've got suit uh, three and four, bar and lounge. Same there as well. I like what they've done here. I think it's actually quite good for the passengers as well. So we've got two suites here. It's quite, you know, these are smallish ones. Relatively similar, apart from the master one. Definitely needs some filling, and it needs some cupboards. There's no where to put anything at all. You could... There is a little bit of shelving here. I'm guessing it's not completed because there's no bedding or anything. No one is going to sleep like that on a hard mattress like that. You're never going to sleep like that. And also there's no headboard. Don't you think that would be annoying? Your pillow would be falling off the end. Well, you actually don't get a pillar, do you? Your little work desk you got here as well. Little pad there. Guessing that's... I uh, don't think it's actually... Oh no, I can see squares in it. Maybe it is something. Little seating area. Where's the TV? Can you get a TV in here? Oh, look at some artwork on the ceiling as well. Look at this. It does look futuristic, but I think it's lacking some storage and lacking a few bits. And the uh, fish tank as well. There's no fishes in it yet. I imagine it's going to be quite expensive to fill the ship with fish, as all the rooms have got fish tanks. Pretty cool. And finally... Your bathroom. I suppose you could store stuff in here, couldn't you? In the bathroom, maybe. Maybe that's the intention. Another panel there. Mirror there. Your toilet. Not much going on there, really. No toilet roll, so you just got to use whatever you can, I guess. And then finally... Into the shower bathtub. I only realised the other day it's actually a bathtub as well. There's a step down there, if you'll have a look. I mean, to me, they look like... Um, jacuzzi jet things. And if you look here, look, there's a headrest. It 
it's a good idea to some extent, but if you think about it, you're going to come in the shower, someone comes in, you're with someone, they come in the shower, they have a shower, three or four showers, and then you have an idea. You say, oh, okay, I might have a bath. It's going to be pretty dirty down here, isn't it? I suppose if the cleaners come in every day and clean up. Little thing here as well to sit on. It's well thought out. If you look at the shower head, this is the rain one, and then this is the normal one, and they've left a cut out. It doesn't quite go around it. I would just, They should have probably took out these ones as well. The thought was there. So lots of options with the shower. Pretty nice. Can't turn the taps on. Tried that. And then back out we go. Same thing over this side. Exactly the same. There's no difference. It's just a... Pretty much the same. Bed. Swim pool. All the swim pool. What do I keep saying swim pool for? Jesus. Fish tank. And bathroom. Same thing. Now I've got some thoughts on this one. More lifts as well for flying around the place. Down here, you got another room. Once again, pretty much the same. This one does have a little bit of art either side and some books. At least it looks like a little bit more filled up. Cigar case. Yeah, at least this one's got stuff in it. Now, I've got something coming up. Wait for it. Hang on. If I was an executive and I was paying a lot of money to come on a ship, this, I would be very disappointed with this room. Because, well, oh, let's walk around the corner. What have we got? Okay. Oh, the toilets. Great. I'm literally next to the freaking toilets. Great. So if someone takes a big poo, it's going to waft down here and you're going to smell it outside your room. You're going to have people going to the toilet. And it gets even worse. There's the bloody bar. If they have music on, your room is literally just there. You're going to have people coming out pissed. You know what I mean? Might even have people like here being sick. You know what I mean? Jesus. Yeah, these are like the... I would prefer being in the crew quarters. They shouldn't have put the toilets there, I don't think. But maybe the glass, maybe it is soundproof and smellproof in there. Anyway, you get these little toilets. Very compact. And then you've got a little cubby hole up the top there. It's really well designed. I mean, this is very well designed. I mean, look. That sink and the way it goes round like that and makes a shelf is actually pretty freaking cool, right? This is like proper design stuff. Probably consider that as a bit of a furniture piece, wouldn't you? Not going to be cheap to make, though, is it? Toilet. No toilet paper. Lifts there, we've seen them, and then into the bar. Here's the bar. There is this slidey thing up the top there as well. Little seating area here. Nice views outside. Once they sort out this glass thing. Sit down at all the chairs. Can go around in the bar, in fact. Oh. I think I'll have that one. No, I don't know. I don't know how I managed to... That's going to be very interesting to see how I managed to stow that. Where did he stow that? Holy cow. Going to make a good thief. All the drinks. Beers, I'm guessing. Some funky glasses there. Little shakers, peanuts. Never eat the peanuts. Literally, the toilet's there. They're going to go and do a wee, have some peanuts. Pass on that one, thanks. Nice shakers down there. Another sort of viewing area over here. No 
nice views. And then over here, a small dining area. Seats a few. You need staff here serving drinks, people cleaning toilets. And then round the front here, which I think once again is a little bit daft because do you think there's going to be a chance that someone's going to be sitting here eating their dinner, like chopping with their plate, and you're sitting around here having a blooming meeting? Well, that's pretty freaking cool though, isn't it? Look at that one-way glass, look. That's pretty freaking cool, isn't it? I didn't even notice that. Why would they do that? I don't know. So you could say so everyone can see people eating their dinner. Don't want to be picking your nose sitting here, do you? Once again, I would have probably just put a little swishy door thing, you know, shh, come in here, close the door. That way then you sort of separate this off a little bit from the dining area. Just a sound thing, that's all. Awesome view at the front here. You can see that's the uh, top pad where we came out earlier. Here and here, you can see where the turrets pop out. We can have a look at that later. Oh, this is actually dining as well, is it? Okay. It's got plates and stuff here. I thought that this was more like a boardroom. It doesn't look like a dining table, does it? Do you reckon? Well, that sort of makes sense then. So what's, well, who sits here then? Or is this middle class and this is upper class? What's the crack? Does it sit on the floor? I like the idea of it being a board table. I suppose if it's dining, then it makes sense there's a big gap here like this. Right, back this way. I'm assuming this is where the, I don't know, servants? I suppose the servants come up. Hot plate, maybe? Maybe they come up from crew kitchens? Oh, well, should we try it? Yep, yeah, totally makes sense. So they're going to be receiving their order. Beep bob, beep bob. Chop away. When it's ready. They come over here. Wow, well, I still think that's something. Come over here. Come up in the lift. It'd be much easier for them to have a, another one of them things, wouldn't it? It's the door. One of them lifts. Don't you think? It was over this way, wasn't it? Oh, and they put the order in here from here, so they come over here and tap the orders in, I guess. I think it would have been easier to have a food lift, personally. I suppose you need less crew if you've got the lift. And it looks like we've got cutlery here. And bottles of water, some more glasses, and... Oh, look, more up there. Nothing over the other side. There's no door over the other side, as you saw earlier. Just a wall there. And around here. Past the toilets. And then the last floor. Well, this is the top of the hub, or the atrium, whatever you want to call it. Like what they've done with the trees as well. Lighting makes things just look incredible, like the little blue lights, the lights around the corner, the reflections here, the lights here. All the lights on the, you know, the lights reflecting from things downstairs. If you took that lighting away, this would look awful. The lighting, they've actually nailed it in this. It's brilliant. The reflections off the chrome, amazing. Quite a good view from here as well. 
while we're just uh, punked up here on a rock. Nice seating area. They thought everything out. Look, even when you sit in the seat, you're actually perfectly aligned. On my own again. Seating there. We do have seating around here. Exactly the same thing here. Guess it's just like a bit of a chill out area and enjoy the view. And down here. All the shadows in there as well from all the leaves. That is really impressive. Can't wait to see it like a big jungle planet. Some games here as well. We've got chess there. Not sure what that looks like. A cigar holder? Guessing. Apparently you can smoke on board. And over here we've got a couple more. A bit more art here as well. Some more games here. Some other bits. Seating area. Weird thing here. Looks like something from... Oh my god. Stargate. Now this is the executive... Or let's just say the VIP suite. You're probably not going to use it yourself. And the reason I say that is because... I imagine you'd better rent this out for quite a lot of money. And that's what it's going to be all about. We've got all this artwork as well around the place. It's pretty cool. I believe the artwork was created by one of the developers and all the staff members, or quite a few of them, have touched the ship, have signed them individually. So you'll see, look, different signature there. Different one here. Pretty cool, eh? They get a little bit of themselves in the game. So this is what you get. So you've got a seating area here for four people and guests. You've got a pretty freaking awesome view. I would probably say the best view. It is the best view, isn't it? I would say so. It's a picture within itself. A double walled fish tank. We've got multiple ways we can go as well. We can go in this way. So the fish tank sort of rolls into two rooms. There's no fish in here. I imagine you would put the exotic fish in here and the uh, cheapo ones in the other room. Did the other one have bubbles as well? Maybe it did. Didn't notice that. This is your kitchen area. Fully loaded. I mean, this is... Dare I say, it's a freaking canteen, isn't it? Most of the time, you're going to be ordering stuff anyway. You probably won't even touch this, but if you want to use it, you can. And you get loads of all sorts of stuff down the bottom here. Protein powder, loads of alcohol, looks like some beers, water, a little bit of fruit, some other stuff there. Mustard, ketchup, loads of weird bean things, freaking growing plants. Loads of glasses. I'm guessing this are all... Oh, I wonder if I can put that in there. Shall I try it? Let's give it a go. See if I can put that in there. Do you reckon it's in the go? What do you reckon? Never tried this. <laughs> I don't think it's going to... Trying. Nah, I don't think it's going to go. Let's try that. Oh, I sod it. Don't really want to mess around now. Guessing that is what it's for, though. So you maybe have, like, a few bottles of uh, wine in there. And maybe they're back chilled as well. That'd be nice. Looks like some sort of coffee machine. Knives. Loads of cutlery. Bowls. Knock yourself out. Seating area. And then here. Which I'm assuming that will work. It does look like a fingerprint thing, doesn't it? This is the bedroom. No windows here. You're boxed in a bit. But you have know, got some cool stuff. We've got some really funky books here. We're all for sale. Always forward. Classic books, these ones. Dare to Dream. What's that one there? Jesus. Interesting. Lots of art up here as well. Huge TV. Massive curved TV. Do get a backboard, but your pillars are going straight under there, isn't it? 
I don't know if that's a bigger bed. It does look a little bit wider than the other ones. If that had a backboard, this would be the ultimate bed. And more artwork here. With another weird signature there. Be DE, maybe. Lots of clothing hangers. But they're not in cupboards. This is going to sit there. And we have the bathroom. Pretty much the same as the other ones. I couldn't see any difference. Same shower. Same tub stroke shower thing. Do you know what they have forgotten as well? Once you're down on that floor, it's going to be hard to get back up again. There's no handles, is there? I know I'm not that old, but you know what I'm getting at. It's freaking slippy as hell. You're coming in, whoa! <laughs> oh dear. Mirrors, more clothing stuff. Toilet. There's quite a bit of space in here, but same as the other ones, really. And then if we go back to that room, that door goes the same way. I'll show you anyway. Through the kitchen. We can cut through that way, but I'm just going to... So when we came down here, we can go this way now as well. And in here, this is your office, basically. Where you can sit and do the Alan Sugar thing. All your executive will. I imagine renting this out would be quite expensive. And you're going to make a lot of money out of this. Awesome view again. Lots of artwork hanging around. Another signature up there, I think. Up there. And that door just takes you around into the bedroom. I think that is every room we've done now, so I guess we go now to the last one which is over there now this is the main bridge where you're going to be flying the ship there is no button panel to open this door which is a bit odd but you do have to click to open which makes sense because passengers shouldn't be able to walk up to this door and the door open that's just daft it is a chunky door. Weird option. It does look like that double glass stuff. I know it's supposed to be strong as steel. I was expecting that to be some huge metal blast door or something. And then you come in this room. Over here. Avionics. Which are not there, I'm guessing, at the moment because they haven't done them. Got all the words on the floor. So if you want to know what the stuff does, you just look down or look at the wall. Good idea. More avionics. And then you walk up to the bridge area. Undoubtedly. Well, it's the best view, but you're freaking flying the ship, so you spec that, don't you? Pretty good view all the way around, really. You've got all these stations here as well. Would be interesting to see if these are actually going to work. If they if these do work, and they work over there, this is going to be so cool. It's going to be like something out of Star Trek. Someone pressing the buttons, beep bob, beep bob, pressing the buttons. Someone over there, and they've got this as well. Look, these are obviously placeholders, but it's just identifying that it is a screen, and then we've got them here as well, and then. The map in the middle, which is pretty cool for ch you're plotting your course. Three seats in total. Pilot seat here. You've got co-pilot seat around here. We're getting the co-pilot seat first. Uh, I want you to go into F4 view, but I don't think it's going to work. All right, okay, we'll just jump in one. There's no numbers on them at the moment, so this is obviously underneath. 
it's not one you're controlling, you're controlling two simultaneously. But I can move into the other one for a different view, if that makes any sense. We're upside down now because we're on the bottom of the ship. We can swap out. We don't really know which one's which turret, but so we just try that one. That's the same one, it's not that one then. It does go a bit weird when you try and exit it. Let's try that one. Is that going to be on the other side? Oh, there we go. And these are the ones, if you remember when we were standing, I can't look down. They actually added an arc in, let's see, you can't shoot the ship. Can't move it that way, it moves it over the top. So if you can just see, well, next to me there, there's that window where I was saying they pop out. And in front of us is the landing area. So pretty handy. If someone's coming down to land and they're being attacked or they've got issues, you know, you can just unleash with these, can't you? And around this side. get all the normal controls, you can go into menu, you can go into shields, you can manage power, you can manage the heat, and then you've got more turrets. This is a gun turret. I can't show you F4 view because every time I do that it will close it, but there's a door here as well. And then if we've also got, if we swap round and go to the second one, I think that's actually at the rear section there. Fire rate's much better on this one. Because it's dual as well. You can see two guns there. Decent bit of firepower. Optional there between missiles as well. And guns. What I would probably do, though, my only feedback would be, is to... You can access the two turrets from here, and you can access all the missile launchers from here. Well... You want to do it both on both sides, so if that person wants to get in one gun, you want to get in another gun, you should be able to do that, really. And then finally, the pilot seat. Power's on already. We're ready to rock and roll. We can take a quick ganders outside as well while we're here. And there's that airlock from earlier. We opened there. Escape pods there on the side. That's where they're going to eject them from. That little door there. You can see in the sort of atrium area or the hub. There's the boardroom st stroke dinner table. You can see all the rooms around the side. There's the executive room at the back there where the engines are. Pretty cool, eh? You're going to get a good view as well if someone's chasing you and shooting you, aren't you? You're literally going to see it face on there is some OLED issues with this ship at the moment so as you move out about there look they disappear and you get a scale of the ship now it's just absolute beast but I want to show you this anyway we do a little bit of flight and we have a bit of uh, summary but I'm going to take off here and just show you something I'm going to try and do it here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down really fast watch See that? It's awesome, isn't it? It makes landing so much easier because of that suspension travel. 
if you could consider the size of that landing gear, we literally went down probably as much as an Aurora there. And it just makes landing so smooth and so easy. I thought this ship was going to be a right pain to fly, even with hover mode, but they've really worked on the ship in hover mode. I mean, if I press, I, I know this is going to sound obvious, but if I just press up, Complete. it just goes up and it doesn't stray forward, back, left or anything. And that might sound like quite obvious, with a lot of the other ships like the Starfarer, there's lots of issues with them. When you just press up, they start going forward or something. So overall, the physical flight of this by flying, landing, is absolutely awesome. It uses a little bit too much fuel at the moment, but they're probably going to address that. And the last thing as well, what is worth looking at, if you look at the star map, and this is, this is a ship designed for do, doing touring. Now, based on what we currently have, we put a landing gear up as well. Have a look at that as well. Can't get that close because it goes out of view. It's so freaking big. That front landing leg's huge, what's got to fold up in there. And here we are. Here she is. Looking absolutely awesome. Yeah, if we have a look at the star map, just to give you a bit of an idea on how much fuel, you start with, you know, 25,000. To get from around about, I'm going to say here to about here, would cost you around about, let's say, 5,000. You can do Port Olisar to Area 18, which takes about 2,500, 2,400, you know, 2,400. So if you can get across the system, just about, okay, I agree, it's a little bit more, and it costs 5,000. You could literally fly across four systems, and the reason why I say four, not five, you've got to stop off maybe, buy something on the way, bop around a bit. That's a long way. And also, the other really cool thing about this is the jump time. The jump time is nuts. I mean, you can go from Port Olisar to Area 18 in just under four minutes. So quick. And most of the other jumps between in, within the system is literally jump there. It's very, very fast. But also, it's freaking massive. When you're flying it, it flies exactly how you expect it to fly. It's weighty. But there's no surprises with the flight. It's a really, really nice ship to fly. I'm going to say it again. The best, largest ship in the game to fly. I mean, this flies better than the Starfarer. It's so smooth. That landing gear is just a game changer. Whoever thought of that was a brilliant idea. Just makes landing so much nicer. And the only downside at the moment, it does use a little bit of fuel when you're boosting. It does seem to eat quite a lot, um, which makes it a little bit challenging. And that's just me coming here and taking off and flying out of atmosphere at 50%. So, But overall, what do I think of the ship? I'm really, really impressed with this. This is taking ship design and ship creation and interiors, just the whole essence of shipbuilding, to a whole nother level. Every ship that Star Citizen create, you know, being the next one, they're just getting better and better and better at creating these ships. Not only just creating them and visually making them better, but optimizing them from a performance point of view, getting great FPS inside the ship, which is incredible considering the physical detail. And to achieve something like this in a game to this size, that one person now, I'm sitting in that seat, flying it, I can get out the seat, walk around it, I can have people on the ship. This is literally a flying CSGO map. You could even argue this is bigger. And that's just amazingly impressive. So, And to achieve the graphic fidelity is just mind-blowing. And I've no doubt as more ships come out later on down the line, Star Citizen will keep stepping up the game and they will just get better and better over the period of time. And the last thing on the agenda, if you want to support me, just give us a like or check out my Twitch or Facebook page. That's it from me. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.